Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to download and use Club ELD. So, first things first, if you have an Apple device, you're going to go into the Apple Play or the App Store. If you have an Android device, you're going to go to the Google Play Store. Once you get to the search bar, you're just going to need to search Club ELD. And uh, Club ELD is very similar to Track Insure. Um, I left all of the login credentials exactly the same from Track Insure to Club ELD. So whatever you use on Track Insure to log in, use the same thing on Club ELD and it'll allow you to log in. I'm going to be using a Shop Foreman's account for this tutorial. You can hit yes for save credentials so it helps you log in easier in the future. On this app, you will need the location and Bluetooth to always be on. Notifications are not necessary, but it'll not allow you to select always on for location services. So you will at some point will need to go into your settings, which I can show you real quick right now. So once you get into settings, you're just going to need to find the Club ELD app. It should be in the list of all the apps that you downloaded. Once you get into there, you hit location and select always. So it allows location always for this app. On this page, you don't really need to select anything specific or put in any information, especially the first time you're logging into the app. Um, this is just in case you want to reconnect to the truck, you know, in the future, once you already, already have your truck number and everything set in. But for right now, don't need to do anything. Could it continue and confirm? So as you see, pretty similar to Track Insure. Um, to switch statuses, you just press on whichever status you want to change to, sleep or on duty, driving, off duty. It'll not allow me to do that right now just because I'm not connected to a truck. But once you connect to a truck and switch statuses, you'll see it's literally the same thing as Track Insure. Putting in your trailer number, shipping number is all the same. Um, the 14 hour window, 11 hour driving limit, 70 hour duty cycle, and eight hour break, um, eight hour driving limit till you need a break is all at the bottom here. And it will continue to display that. In the bottom right, if you select on this truck with the pencil, little orange symbol here, it'll load up the different pages that you can go to. So we are currently on the HOS page, which it shows at the top. Second one is the log page, which shows you your graph as well as your events in a little more detail. Third one is going to be the DOT inspection page, which you will go into to certify your records and send logbooks out in case of inspection. So in case of inspection, you hit start, um, start inspection and transfer data to police. You will need to put in a signature the first time you do this. And over at the bottom, you can hit view ELD compliance certificate and view ELD cap card in order to load these things up sometimes during an inspection and DOT officer will ask you for this. We try to put paper copies inside of your truck folder, but in case you do not have it, this is where you can go to load it up. Very quick, very simple. And uh, the Cap card is just more instructions for you for the DOT inspection and DOT inspector in case of anything. Going further, the DVIR page, this is for inspection reports. In case you would want to put an inspection report in during your pre-trip, you can mark any vehicle defects on your truck or trailer. If there are any, uh, mark that the vehicle is safe to drive and that you certify that. I do not believe this is necessary, but you know, it never really hurt to put it in so the last tab is the team driving tab on here uh, you just press on the co-driver to add a co-driver it'll allow you to add their login information in and whichever driver you select on will be the driver that is driving on the truck and will work for the app will work for so most important thing on this app just as it was on track insure you will always need to be connected to the truck so truck symbol is at the top right hand corner it's in red currently right next to the american flag so you just go ahead and press on it and the first time you're going to be connecting to your truck you will need to pair it so 
What that means is instead of searching in other trucks or nearby trucks, you need to look specifically in nearby device. Under where it says nearby device, you will have a PT30 device number. If you're inside of the truck, it'll show a strong single signal to that PT30 device. And that's how you know it's the one that's in your truck. You press on it, it'll load up a separate list of trucks. That separate list of trucks will include your truck number, which you then press. And once you do that, your truck number will show up at the top in green from that point forward. So it'll be very easy to log in and connect to the truck after you do this one time. Um, as I said before, it'll show up at the top in green once you do this one time. And yeah, overall, very similar to Track Insure. Um, in case you guys have any questions or issues, then you can contact me, of course. Um, I'll be happy to help. One important thing to keep in mind is that this logbook will be on Central Time, not Pacific Time. So what that means is basically two hours ahead of Cali. Instead of it being 10 a.m., how we're used to on the log, it'll be 12 p.m., 12 in the afternoon. So again, let me know if you guys